You're excited. You just bought a bike and you want to share your newfound passion with the world. Lord knows you haven't stopped talking about our savior Rossi since you discovered my channel. But first of all, hey, how you doing today? It's your sweet Papa Yam here to guide you through the crucible that motorcycling can be. If you're enjoying the content so far, which you're only a few seconds in, so that's really saying something, then smash that subscribe button for me. We put out daily high quality motorcycling videos and we even give away bikes. <laughs> Check out the description about that. And today's video was supported by the good folks over at Manscaped. You're gonna wanna check them out, I guarantee it. I'll tell you more about them later on. Now, you're gonna soon discover that no matter how many times you offer to people to let ride or sit on your bike or ride pillion, someone will always say no. They could be saying no because they have one of the seven reasons why people are afraid of motorcycles. Let's find out what they are. Our first reason is, fatalities. Now I'm not talking about the block up up type either, let's be real, motorcycles can be fun, entertaining, and a great hobby or sport to pursue. The craft is amazing and you'll likely meet a ton of great people on your journey. But the truth remains, motorcycles have caused more death per miles driven than cars. It's just a fact. Sport bikes also have a higher fatality rate compared to cruisers and other types of bikes. The number one reason why people are afraid of bikes is because it can lead to death, or in my opinion, a proper maiming or becoming a vegetable. That's scary stuff. In situations where a car and a bike experience the same crash, the likelihood of a motorcyclist surviving with minor injuries is nearly zero. Cars can sustain more damage in crashes because of the seatbelts, airbags, and a solid metal frame that surrounds the occupants. Motorcyclists just don't have that same luxury. We are naked to our environment while sitting on our bikes, although protection is offered in the form of pads, airbags, or other gear. They all have their limitations. When fatal crashes occur, there is normally a plethora of factors. Sometimes alcohol, speed, reckless riding, or other poor judgment is used in the crash. Other times, sadly, it's not even the rider's fault. The takeaway here is that yes, death can happen, but that shouldn't deter you from the ride. There's literally millions of folks who have enjoyed motorcycles without dying. So remember that it's much more likely for you to not die than it is to die on a bike. Now, our second reason is speed. Ah, speed, yes. Motorcycles are not cars. For a mere fraction of the cost of a supercar or even a car with mid-level performance, you can buy a bike that will beat 98% of everything on the road in factory form and without mods. Speed lures in the typical jigs or squid or even newbies in their pre-cephalopod stage. The idea of going 100 miles per hour in the blink of an eye sounds great until it becomes real. When considering most accidents, speed is a factor. When I talk about speeding, I'm not talking about a mere 5 miles per hour over the limit. Going from speed limit to double or triple it occurring in a matter of seconds. That's the dangerous speed that people fear. Bikes can be fast, but they don't have to be. Beginner riders need to learn proper throttle control and even riding the proper bike. And since we always recommend the Turbo Busa as the ideal slow beginner bike, I'm just kidding, don't do that. In all reality, a bike that fits you and works with your skill level is ideal. More can be learned from riding a slower bike than a faster one, and that can be applied to all kinds of riders. If you're afraid to enter motorcycling because of speed, you shouldn't be. Speed is one of the few variables that we can control on a motorcycle. The decision of how fast to go is yours to make. It's like that one saying goes, you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. So don't play stupid games on your bike and you'll be just fine. Leave the fast boy stuff to the track and, and don't emulate your favorite YouTubers even if they are speeding on a BMW S1000 RR on a frontage road in Austin while a pickup truck almost pulls out in front of them, not to name names. Our third reason is control. Have you seen those police riders do figure eights through the cones on their massive cruisers? That is control. The next reason why people are afraid of bikes is control. Motorcycles are not as easily controllable as cars. Let's face it, besides balancing the bike, both arms and legs are needed to reach cruising speeds, mix a clutch, separate brakes, manual shifting, and the expectation to use turn signals, and now you have a recipe for fear. Motorcyclists use every part of their body to do very specific tasks. When one part fails, the whole system fails and bikes tend to go down. Controlling a motorcycle doesn't happen overnight and a good rider will continue to practice low speed techniques to improve their confidence. If there's a will, there is a way. Those who are afraid of not being able to control a bike simply need more time on one. Riding your bike is about having fun, enjoying your time, and forgetting about your bad day. Concentration is key to controlling your squid missile. Bad experience involving the loss of control shouldn't be the reason to stop riding or be afraid of bikes. Put in the time and effort to practice and as well as research to study and your riding will improve. Our next one is more folklore, but it really wraps people's minds and that is 
horror stories slash crashes. Just like the elephant in the room, which is death, other things can happen leading to a fear of riding. Some riders go down a low side, others high side, and some are never able to ride again. To add to the horrors of riding, the financial aspect tends to linger as well. Some people will spend thousands of dollars on a new bike only to crash it or lay it down a week later and having hospital bills and all kinds of stuff. Being afraid to damage your motorcycle leads to overthinking maneuvers and that can lead to crashing. Everyone knows someone who has crashed a new bike, crashed in their first week of riding, or has been injured and can't ride anymore. Those stories are real, but the fear doesn't have to be. Someone else's experiences is exactly that. You can control a lot of the factors that lead to a horror story and crash. Someone else's crash doesn't have to become your reason to not ride. The next reason why people are afraid to ride a motorcycle is noise, and although that's not as gruesome as some of our other ones, noise can play a large part in the perspective of riding. From straight piped Harleys to high revving R1s, most motorcycles generate a lot more noise over factory systems. As a normie, bikes might just be the loud things on the street. Some people are legitimately annoyed or turned off by loud exhaust systems that bikes have. Even me, honestly, I'll hear a super loud Harley on the street and it kind of pisses me off. Because of this, some people are afraid of motorcycles and won't ride them. Not every bike has to be loud, most bikes are quiet or manageable in factory form and are even suitable for even the most sensitive of riders. The sound alone shouldn't be a fear, if anything, louder systems alert other vehicles of the presence of a motorcycle. Now, just like every bike doesn't have to be loud, you don't have to walk around with gnarly pubes. What? Yes, that's exactly right. It's important and you need to know it. That's why the good folks over at Manscaped have you covered. They make the finest in men's personal grooming products and will allow you to be as aerodynamic as you need to be. Right now, they've got a special deal going on for their new subscription package. Get it? Package? puns make themselves. And if you click the link and use the code YAM20, you can get yourself 20% off this amazing offer. Seriously, this thing features a no-nick ceramic blade with a super long battery. You can take it on the road and always stay fresh. As I mentioned in a previous video, I took this thing to my nuts. I whacked it at it. Nothing happened. No nick. Ceramic blades. It's amazing. Get yourself 20% off with the code YAM20 at checkout. Support these fine folks because they support us. Now, let's check out the next item on our list today. The next one is, of course, maintenance. I don't know if maintenance is something to be afraid of or a nuisance, but it is our next reason nonetheless. A lack of maintenance can easily make for a really interesting or scary ride, depending on how you look at it. For all the new riders out there, maintenance can be either a breeze or a disaster. If you bought your bike on Craigslist for under 500 bucks, you are probably a fearless individual. For the rest of us, maintenance is a legitimate concern and even a reason to be afraid. Unlike cars, motorcycles need more attention at shorter mileage intervals. To make matters worse, an issue while riding can become potentially hazardous or even fatal. Unlike cars that can simply pull over in emergencies, motorcyclists must use extreme caution. A snap chain can damage the bike and injure the rider. A flat tire could cause you to go down depending on the severity and your experience. Maintenance isn't all that bad on a motorcycle. It's tedious, time consuming, and for those balling on a budget, it can be expensive at times. The best ways to negate higher costs is to invest in preventative maintenance. You will protect yourself and your bike by riding safer. Our next reason is lack of confidence slash understanding. Lack of confidence and understanding of the motorcycle. It's only fair that new riders will have mishaps, accidents, and sometimes drop bikes at a standstill. The fear of not having confidence comes from an inability to understand the bike. It isn't ignorance, it's a lack of research and experience. Knowing why the front tire wobbles, how to stop skidding, or even counterbalancing a bigger bike in tight turns comes with practice and experience. Now, let's face it, things are going to happen. You'll rev through a shift, stall at a few red lights, and probably forget what gear you're in. It's okay. It's all part of the learning curve associated with motorcycles. To conquer this fear, I suggest that you go back to the basics and have patience with your maneuvers. Just because your friends can pop dank nooners down Main Street doesn't mean you have to try. If you're not comfortable doing anything on your motorcycle, don't attempt it. Research how the clutch, throttle, and brakes work in conjunction for tighter turns, faster acceleration, or even, yes, ripping fat nooners. Work your way slowly into a new skill and build your confidence. Avoiding other distractions will help build your confidence and become a better rider. This leads us into our next fear traffic and the environment. Now, if you've been keeping track, this is our eighth reason because I am a loving and giving yam, but this next reason is traffic and the environment. For all riders, danger may or may not lie in wait at every bend, turn, or intersection. Traffic is the most unpredictable and uncontrollable factor in accidents. Most accidents are at no fault of the rider and due to car drivers maneuvering into the motorcyclist's path of travel unexpectedly. The only way to diminish this fear is to be alert and distraction-free yourself. Don't add to the risks on the road by trusting drivers to see you or respond to you. Traffic is a part of the overall bigger picture of the environment you're traveling in. 
The weather can turn unfavorably at any minute, animals can leap out in front of you, or even unseen dangers can arise out of nowhere. Control what you can and be prepared for the unexpected. At Gat, Sot G Sot, some of the gear, some of the time, or not G Not, none of the gear, none of the time. The choice is yours, young squidlets. So, what do you guys think? Have you thought about any of these reasons as potential factors of not picking up a bike? I've read your comments and for many of you, and this is something I find incredibly admirable, the biggest reason you're not riding is cost, so allow me to help. You already know your boy Yami Noob gives away free motorcycles, but did you know I have a new way for you to enter? Right now, if you click the link below or go to YamiNoobMerch.com, you can pick up some of our new merch and get additional chances to win our giveaway bikes. Every dollar you spend gets you one entry. Seriously, so if you pick up one of these shirts, for example, you can get 28 tickets to win our bike. It's another way of joining up without committing to our Patreon, which all of our Patreons are stoked to be a part of the series. I highly recommend joining up that way. But if you want to get chances to win, this is another cool way to do it. So click the link below, check out yamminoobmerch.com and get started. Thanks again for watching and tuning in. I always love hearing from you guys and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later. Fact. Dr. Seuss originally started writing green eggs and ham as a bet. That's weird how life works out. Goodbye.